Hello and welcome to the festive edition of Time Tunnel TV. Coming up on today's show, we have live performances from the one and only Jonathan Braddock, the latest news and a very festive guest, Arthur Christmas. We will be with, we will be with him interviewing him shortly. But first, it's Jonathan Braddock. When well, out then, Marty Bum, I seen you frowning. It's like looking down the barrel of a gun and it goes off. And out come all these words. Oh, there's a very pleasant side to you, a side I much prefer. It's one that's laughs and jokes around. Remember cuddles in the kitchen, yeah, to get things off the ground. And it was up, up and away. Oh, but it's right hard to remember that on a day like today when you're all argumentative and you've got the face on. When well, I'll then, Marty Bum, oh, I'm in trouble again, aren't I? I thought as much, because you turned over there. Pull in that silent disappointment face The one that I can't bear and can't we Just laugh and joke around Remember cuddles in the kitchen, yeah To get things off the ground And it was up, up and away oh, But it's right hard to remember that On a day like today When you're all argumentative And you've got the face on And yeah, I'm sorry I was late but I missed the train and then the traffic was the state And I can't be asked to carry on in this debate That reoccurs or when you say I don't care But of course I do, yeah I clearly do Just laugh and joke around Remember cuddles in the kitchen, yeah To get things off the ground And it was up, up and away Ah, oh, but it's right hard to remember that On a day like today when you're all Argumentative And you've got the face on All the way from the North Pole, not Father Christmas, it's Arthur Christmas. Morning, Arthur. Morning. How are you doing? I'm good, you? I'm all right, thanks, mate. Right, so, Arthur. Yeah. You went from reading letters. Yeah. To becoming Santa. What was, what was that like? It was a big change, mm. but I hoped for it because my brother was meant to be doing it before I did. But he decided to let me do it at the end. In the mm. end, so hopefully, with all the elves, I'll be able to do it as good as last year's fa Father Christmas. Yeah, I think you'll manage. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. It's a big job. You know, it's and a big job, don't you? Yeah, there's billions of presents delivered each year. Go but very fast. Yeah, we we mm. can do that. But yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to sort everything out and get all the presents delivered on time okay. for Christmas. Yeah. Um. So, like, ob obviously, you're in charge of the letters beforehand. Yeah. Who's, whose responsibility is that now? Because obviously it's still an important job that needs doing. Yeah, it definitely is. Um, I'm not sure who's going to be doing it next year, but we'll figure it might be one of the elves or the old Santa might be able to do it, but I'm not yeah. sure who they're going to get in charge for that. Yeah, yeah they'll, they'll find someone. Yeah. Um, right, okay, so you've had a lot of letters yes. in your time, I would, I would imagine. Um, what's the best letter you've ever had received? What's the most interesting? A little girl who asked for a pink bike with stabilizers for Christmas, and it was a long letter that she asked if we, we were real, and could she get what she wanted? So she asked, and we really wanted to make it possible for her to have the present she asked for. Yeah. She, she really didn't really believe in us that much. Yeah. So we had to prove her wrong, and that made it more, more special that letter. Oh, okay. So do you actually you actually went to a house and? Yes, because it got left behind. Right. In the North Pole, so. 
I had to go out on the slate yeah. to deliver it. Wow. And they got there just in time. Yeah, well, that's good. Oh, so we'll, we'll, we'll come back to these questions okay. later, but for now, um, we've got some sisters. Um, <laughs> well, now it's time for the news. Here are the headlines. A royal wedding, riots throughout the UK, and tragic disasters. Don't go anywhere. Hello and welcome to Times Tunnel News. New Zealand has suffered an earthquake in Christchurch, the country's second biggest city, with a magnitude of 6.3 on Tuesday 22nd of February at 12.51pm. It has wiped out numerous buildings and left many families on the streets. It was a shallow tremor at 5 kilometres, but hit the city at its busiest time of the day, causing it to be the country's deadliest disaster in 80 years. Although However, just two and a half weeks after the earthquake in New Zealand, Japan has suffered a tsunami triggered by an 8.9 magnitude earthquake, 8,000 times worse than the one in Christchurch. The tsunami washed away cars, ships and houses, killing 350 people so far, with 500 still missing and thousands homeless. The earthquake was the most powerful to record and hit the northeast coast. It is there the worst of the tsunami hit, causing Sende alone to lose around 250 people. Also, the tsunami caused the nuclear power plant's pressure to rise drastically, but was later controlled and shut down safely. However, a dam has burst, trains are missing, and many are injured due to the disaster. Officials are still hosting search and rescue, but clean-up will be the main priority. In other news, Prince William and Kate Middleton have been wed at Westminster Abbey. The ceremony took place on Friday the 29th of April, and 1,900 people attended the wedding in the Abbey, whilst another 500,000 people gathered outside to congratulate them. The public got their first glimpse of the married couple when they came out on the balcony to see the public and show their love with a kiss. The RAF showed their support with a fly past, and this was an iconic event worldwide, with Kate wearing a custom-made gown, which has gone on to be critically acclaimed, and many people having copies made for their own wedding. However, with this being such a big event, there were 5,000 uniform officers with 900 posted around the wedding route to ensure the safety of the couple and their guests. The pair went off on their honeymoon shortly after the event. Also, the talented singer Amy Winehouse was found dead on the 24th of July in her North London home. The singer was 27 years old and it is thought that her death was due to consuming too much alcohol. Many were shocked by this unexpected discovery, and tributes are being made by fans, friends and other well-known singers, such as Ronnie Wood and Demi Moore. Amy was also known for her album Back to Black, and songs such as Rehab and Valerie. Other songs are to be released that she was making, but right now people are still grieving and tributes will probably continue. And finally, a peaceful protest has took a turn for the worst in Tottenham on Saturday as riots broke out in London thereafter as a result. Riots went on for the majority of the night causing a further 1,700 police officers to be deployed in and around the London area. The rioting then progressed to other major cities including Liverpool, Manchester and Bristol. The rioting included buildings being set on fire, theft of shops and abuse to the public and police. As the situation grows violent, this development has caused the Prime Minister David Cameron to return home early from a holiday to tackle the growing issue and take necessary action. The riots have died down now and should be over soon after arrests were made, with a hundred of them being in Bristol, but with buildings left in ruin, shops losing thousands in stock and lost profits, the aftermath might take a while to fix. That's all for Time Tunnel News today. Thank you. Well, that wasn't very festive, but didn't Kate look beautiful? Anyway, it's time for some ad breaks before we go. But before we go, think about this festive brain teaser. What do you get if you combine mistletoe and a duck? Find out after the break.
Mom, where's my uniform? Mom, my tooth fell out. Mom, there's no hot water left. Linda, where are my car keys? Ow! Mom, Teddy just hit me! I'll be there in a minute! Is that mine? Hello, can I be your friend? No, sorry. Alright guys, if you finish what you're doing, uh, you can pack up and leave. Welcome to Manchester, welcome to the true heart of the North West and Britain's third biggest city. A city full of cultural diversity, astonishing sights and amazing architecture. See all that Manchester has to offer and enjoy your time. Hello and welcome back to the festive Time Tunnel TV special. Before the break we asked you what do you get if you combine mistletoe and a duck? The answer is a Christmas quacker. So I don't know where they make them up. Now, we're here with Arthur Christmas, but before we go to a, a few questions with him, we're going to go to a very short documentary about the man himself. Arthur Christmas is the second son of Malcolm. Santa Claus the 20th. Arthur worked in the letter department in North Pole and has always been in the shadow of his older brother. He used to work in maintenance but caused a flood which wiped out many elves in their homes. He was just too clumsy to work with his brother and dad in the ring of Christmas delivery. Your request for a pink twinkle bike will be passed on to Santa. Although Arthur is enthusiastic and loves working in letters, remembering nearly everyone who wrote to him and what they want for Christmas, his enthusiasm and clumsiness can sometimes be seen as a hindrance and makes him miss out on the big Christmas events like Christmas delivery. As after Christmas delivery he is completed, he keeps up the cheer with a board game about delivering presents, but he causes an argument between Steve, his dad and Grand Santa about who should have the Santa piece for the game, which often happened in the household. Sometime after, it comes to light that a present has been left and a child has been missed on Christmas. Once Arthur hears about this, he is distraught and wants everyone to take action immediately to deliver it by morning comes. 
Steve brushes it off the issue and says that it's an expected error and not worth the trouble. As his dad agrees with him, this upsets Arthur and sets the reality that he cares more. Arthur finds a, the letter from the girl who wanted the missing present and Grand Santa agrees to help Arthur deliver the present. That's when his biggest journey began. He first had to conquer his fears of flying, getting at the old sleigh pulled by reindeers like the old days. During the first flight, Grand Santa expresses his disappointment in Malcolm and Arthur is upset when he finds out Steve, the presumed next Santa, hasn't actually rode in the old sleigh, but was still determined to reach Gwen, the child with the present missing. The journey takes many unexpected turns with wrong destinations, missing reindeers and close encounters with death. Also on the journey, Arthur learned that Grand Santa was only doing this to prove a point and lost his hope in Christmas and delivering the present, but it was the stowaway at Rapping Elf that lifted his spirits and encouraged him to carry on. Arthur tried countless times to appeal to his older brother's caringness, asking him to help deliver the present, but he still doesn't help even when the elves gather and want to help. This is when it first became clear that Arthur was more suited to roll Santa than Steve, although Arthur was unaware of this. When the journey looks like it has failed and the present won't be delivered, Arthur suffers from a nervous breakdown and loses his hope in Christmas, but Gwen's letter convinced him to carry on in his rowboat. However, Santa has convinced Steve to deliver the present by this point, but went to the wrong location like Arthur had. Also, the military saw the sleigh and thought it was a threat, so eliminated it and left Grand Santa further back, so it was up to Arthur and the wrapping elf to deliver the present wrapped up and before the sun rose. After an epic ride to Gwen's house, Steve and Santa arrive, but Arthur has already delivered the present and they watched Gwen run down the stairs and Santa decided that Arthur was the next Santa. pulling the more advanced sleigh and ensuring everyone has the best Christmas, including his family. He is now currently happy and aims for bigger and better Christmases each year. It's now time for the physical challenges. We're going to start off with the cook eating challenge. Now, originally, this was supposed to be just you doing it to a time, but I managed to pull some strings and I get to eat the cookies too. Right. Um, so, here I have here I have a bag of white chocolate chip cookies. Nice. So here's your two. And the first two to scoff right. these is the winner. Okay. Right. Okay. Are you ready? Zoom in on my face and I'll kill you. Right. Three, two, one, go. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so silly. Oh, we're doing some music. <laughs> Welcome. Well, that's that's fucking all old me. <laughs> Just let it talk for him. <laughs> what? <laughs> How's the fashion for? Now what? Come 
ball in the mouth. I don't know how I can present in this fight. Film. Mmm. Go get me water. A bit Keep going. I'm gonna try eating that. What? Yeah. Get out of my face now, I can see that. Right, Arthur, that was absolutely rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> but now, it's not over yet because I've got a challenge just for you because I can't, you know, I've got to let you win something. Okay, for this one, we have one minute and 30 seconds. And what you have to do, where's the present? Mm. Mm. What you have to do is wrap this tub of heroes. Right. One, one minute and 30 seconds. You need to be the tape, the paper. Mm. The scissors. And don't stare at this one. Right. Okay? Right. When you're ready. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Actually, I just need to put fifteen. Sixteen. I'll just watch them watching the clock. Okay, I'll say you got about one minute left. One minute left. Don't cut the camera one. That's good. Thirty seconds left. Oh, I've run out of wrapping paper. <laughs> Shut up, you. Yeah. Ow. Ah, oh, can't do this. Okay, we got ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, <laughs> two, one. Hey, right. What <laughs> is that? I'm not an elf, but so. you, you can have it. You know what? You can, well done. Yeah, you win something. You win the heroes. Wow. Right. It's been a great show tonight. <laughs> I'm sure you'll all agree. And um, we've loved having you on. So thanks for being our special guest today. Um, we hope to see you again very soon. Maybe Christmas, if we've been nice. Maybe. It looks like we're, uh, we're out of time, though. So before we go, here's some more musical talent from Jonathan.
that were classic Reebok. When I could converse, or tracky bottoms tucked in socks. Oh, but that's what the point is not. The point that there ain't no romance around there. And there's the truth that they can't see. He'd probably like to throw a punch at me. And if you could only see him, then you would agree. Agree that there ain't no romance around there. Over there, there's broken bones. There's only music, so that there's new ringtones. And it don't take no Sherlock Holmes to see it's a little different around there. And there's the truth that they can't see. He'd probably like to throw a punch at me. And if you could only see him, then you would agree. Agree that there ain't no romance around there.